Hello, my lovely YouTube family. Welcome to another video. So, um, just I'm in a little makeshift studio. Since my last video, I have finally moved house, and the studio is currently having its floor done. So, we'll have a new home very soon for our videos. But right now, I'm just hibernating in the conservatory and doing the best that I can. Um, so, this video is all about tapping into what I like to call our inner ocean. So we are made up majority of fluid, of liquid. And um, when we think about that liquid, when we think about that water, it is ever moving. It is always ebbing and flowing, just like the shore. When you go to the sea and you see the waves come, but you still see then that undercurrent go back under. And then even on the most quiet and still days, the ocean underneath everything is moving. It is alive. There is so much happening. So that's really what I want us to embody in this practice today. So grab your mat get everything you need. Before we get into it, I will just say that for those of you that are looking for a little bit more yoga with me, you can come over and join my Soul Sanctuary membership. There is a seven-day free trial challenge. If you click below this video after you've flowed, of course, then you will be able to do that with me. And I really hope to have you there. It's a beautiful community and a really special place on the internet for us all to flow. So now that that little bit is done, we are going to get into our inner ocean. Then we're actually going to start standing up today. And I want you to start with your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Take a big shoulder roll going back. Find some buoyancy in the knees. And by that, I just mean this sense of lightness. Again, this sense of fluidity. And you can just bounce for a moment. Just check in with how your body is feeling. And then close your eyes. And you can either be here and find some stillness, because to begin with, our ocean is going to be through the breath. Or you can stay with this really gentle side-to-side -side swaying, if that feels good for you. And we're just going to move into some conscious circular breathing. Very, very moderate tempo, just allowing us to tap into that connection with the breath and take those moments to restore. So we're going to be inhaling through the nose, and we're going to exhale it through the mouth. We're going to inhale for five, Exhale for five, and we're just going to go for a few rounds. Okay, so close those eyes. When you're ready, inhaling for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale through the mouth, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, Two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, Five. Just let the breath come back to its natural rhythm. Keep the eyes closed. Take another big shoulder roll going back. And just allow yourself, if you stayed still, allow yourself to gently find that soft swaying motion. There's nothing big and fancy happening here. I just want you to explore how it feels to just melt into that mindset of being like your inner ocean. Try to connect to all of the aliveness that is having to happen in your body every second of the day to keep you upright, to keep you breathing, to keep you here, to keep you alive. And then gently, softly fluttering, open the eyes. <coughs> 
Stay with the feet, approximately hip width, maybe a little bit wider. And we're gonna take some body rolls. And I really want you to start to wake up the spine here. So if you're doing this practice early morning, you might feel a little stiffer, that's okay. If you're feeling fired up and ready, then really roll the body and move into that wave-like motion. So we'll inhale. And then exhale as you start to dive down. Inhale, lift the head, arch the spine, start to lift. And then exhale as the hips come forward and we start to round again. Inhale, lifting. Exhale and rounding. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, wave it around. Inhale up, exhale wave, and then this time you're going to stay in that forward fold. Nice big bend through the knees. Now either take the hands onto the thighs or you can bring them onto the shins, or you can put the hands on blocks if you wish. Take an inhale, lift the spine, lift the chest, shine the heart forwards, exhale round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale and lift. Exhale and round. Keep moving. Inhale and lift. Exhale and round. Slowly start to peel the body all the way up to standing, head and neck coming last. Bring the feet together. So we want to try and connect with that line of energy that runs all the way through the center of the body. Interlace the hands by, behind the back. Maybe take Kali Mudra, so index fingers together, thumbs across. Sit down into an Utkatasana. Option here to rise up onto the toes. Find yourself this solid position. And if you can't rise up onto the toes, you're just gonna stay down and connect, really grounding into the mat with the whole foot. Now from here, really working that stability of the body, and I want you to move the arms one at a time, up and down. So we're finding this strength, but through fluid motion. And it's not a big, fancy movement, well, actually, it's pretty powerful, isn't it? <laughs> Keep breathing. You can always come back down onto the feet. And then release the heels down. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. Take a little back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Place the hands down near the top of the mat, step it back, find your way to your downward facing dog. And rather than just take your average pedal out through the feet, I want you to take that movement up into the hips and all the way up into the shoulders. So finding this fluidity, finding this watery like movement the whole way through the body. So really connecting as well to your creativity and your expression through this movement. When you're invited to move with this sense of freedom, sometimes we can, you know, really start to seize up a little bit and be like, oh gosh, what should I do? Where really just close your eyes and wiggle. There's no right or wrong, just moving here. Two more breaths. Take an inhale, come up onto the toes, start to round the spine, bringing yourself forwards to a high plank. And then exhale, wave it back. Now this time you're gonna take that even deeper. Inhale, come up, round the spine. As you hit your plank, bend the knees, bend the elbows, Tilt that bottom up to the sky, lift the chest, and then wave it even bigger back to the downward facing dog. So inhale, coming forwards. Beautiful, big movements through the spine. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, coming forwards. 
exhale take it back beautiful one more time here inhale come forwards and then exhale take it all the way back and now find that movement again and start to pick one foot up at a time as you start to walk the feet forwards but I want this to be a long walk forwards so we're not just taking two steps and we find our way there we're finding that movement again and then maybe you find yourself in a moment towards the top of the mat take an inhale lift exhale fold forwards inhale lift the chest and then heel toe the feet, exhale, bring it down to Malasana, down into your yogic squat. Obviously, you can pop your heels up onto blocks or into cushions if you need to. Hands to heart center and just start to wiggle here. Side to side, close your eyes. Again, tapping into the movement and the flow of the fluid in your body. And if you find that visualization hard, just bring your mind to water, to the sea, the last time you saw the ocean, and try to find that just constant, graceful flow of movement. Place the hands down. Step it all the way back to the high plank again. And then wave back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, come forwards, find a high plank. Shift over Vashisthasana on the left side. You can modify by putting that left leg down, okay? Great modification to take here, if you wish. From here, you're gonna see if you can reach that right arm up, reach the right leg up, and start to find some movement. So it's a pretty strong place to be. Like I said, if you need to be down on the left knee, you can find the movement here in a modified variation. Nice, so wherever you've decided to be, finding that fluidity, and then gently placing the right foot over by the left hand, you're gonna either keep that back knee down or lift up the back knee, reach the right arm up to the sky. And then wrap that right arm round, take an inhale. Exhale, take that arm up to the sky. Take the right hand down to the inside of the right foot. Heel toe the right foot open, and then drop the hips slightly, still in control of those hips, gently moving side to side. Forwards, backwards, side to side, feeling into all of that yumminess. Option to drop the back knee down and come down onto the forearms. Try not to lose sight of the movement. I really want you to stay fluid through our practice today. Just shifting side to side. One more breath here. And then placing both hands down. Tuck under the back toes. You're going to sweep this right leg all the way up into the sky. And now from here, you're going to dance this right leg around. So it finds a few little circles. And again, if this is too much, you're going to come down to the left knee and take a modified variation. Always some options here. Now, making your way back to the downward facing dog if you drop down to the knee. And then from here, wrapping this right leg around the front of the left, maybe finding that extra hook for an eagle. And then shift onto that left side again. So now we're in an eagle Vashisthasana and we are moving again here, forwards and backwards. Again, if this is too much for you, you're gonna take the other variation where we had the knee down. One more nice big breath. And exhale, slowly unravel. Make your way back to a downward facing dog. 
inhale shift forwards find your high plank and then come on over to your vachistasana on the right side option to drop that knee down so set yourself up find the base and then maybe lifting that left leg the left arm and finding a dance like motion here finding again that fluidity breathing staying connected to the movement and then taking one more breath gently placing that left foot down to the outside of the left hand reach the left arm all the way up take an inhale exhale wrap it around underneath inhale take it all the way up and then place that left hand down to the inside of the left foot lower the hips slightly lift the chest we find some movement here so we take that time to be moving side to side a little bit forwards and backwards a couple more breaths and then the option to drop that back knee down and maybe coming all the way down onto the forearms again shifting side to side Nice big breaths. Stay with that intention, that fluidity. Place both hands down, tuck under the toes, and then fly the left foot all the way back to the three leg dog. Bend that leg and then dance this left knee around in a few circles. And then wrapping the left leg around over the right, push back, grounding down through those hands, strong through the shoulders. And then we're going to come over into that right side again, Vashisasana with the eagle legs. You do not have to have eagle legs. If it doesn't feel right for you, you can drop down and take the modified variation. <sighs> And then gently unraveling, both hands come down. Push it back, downward facing dog. And then drop the knees down, come to sit back on the heels. Interlace the hands behind the back, lift the chest. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And then release the hands and release that breath. <sighs> Take the knees a little bit wider here. Right hand's going to come down to the side of you. So your two options. Two options to either come over into a side stretch and then dance it round in front and then reach over to the other side. Or you're going to take it a little bit further, only if you feel open enough, and you're going to take it into a little dancing camel. So by that, we place the fingertips down, sweep the arms up, hips come forward. And then we bring it round to the other side. Like I said, only taking this option if it's accessible for you and if you feel like it's going to serve you, if you feel like that juicy heart opening is where you're at, but maybe for you, you're going to benefit more from just taking the side stretch. It's not a case when we modify so often, we get stuck in the thought of a modification being less than. But let's reframe that and look at, well, what's going to serve me today? Maybe you can do this dancing camel. Lovely, perfect. But maybe today your body is asking for a really yummy side stretch. So just reframe it and think about that. One more time going each way. Nice. And then slowly coming all the way around to your bottom. You're going to reach those legs out long. Pop yourself up on a block if you need to. You're going to inhale, and it's almost like we're going to deep dive through that water. Inhale, as we reach forwards, lift it up, and then exhale, the arms come round behind us. Inhale, fold forwards and reach. Exhale, release. Two more deep dives. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale, beautiful, and then really lengthening through the spine, crown of the head lifts, start to walk the hands forwards. Close your eyes and just gently sway side to side here. One more breath. And then lifting yourself all the way up. And you're going to shift the bottom forwards and just come to find a little Baddha So soles of the feet together. Take a nice big inhale. Again, big lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold forwards, reaching forwards. Take an inhale, let's undulate here. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. And bringing it all the way up to seated. And just move those legs into a cross leg position. Again, take a little twist. So left hand comes onto the right knee. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head. The spine lifts up. We find that exhale behind. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, deepen. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly release whichever leg you had in front, bring it behind. Right hand comes onto the left knee. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find the twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, slowly unraveling and just come back to whatever cross leg position is most comfortable for you. Take that big roll back of the shoulders, close the eyes. Let's take a couple of rounds of that breath again, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Ground down through all parts of the body that are connected to the earth. Feel that rooting sensation as the energy lifts, growing you taller through the spine, up and out through the crown of the head. Place one hand on top of the other at the heart center. And just take a moment to be grateful. Grateful to have a body that you can place on your yoga mat. A sense of pride for showing up today. And that sense of knowing that whatever happened on your mat today is just one experience in many, all part of the journey. We'll seal our practice with one releasing breath. Inhale. And let it go. Thank you. Thank you so much for flowing and finding your inner ocean with me today. Please do come and check out the Soul Sanctuary. I would absolutely love to have you there. And so would the family. Um, so click the link below. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you over there. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.